Don Reeves with Crustbuster out of Spearville, Kansas. Today we're here in Pine View, Georgia with Lance Thompson. Lance had bought a Module 8 bow buggy from us. We delivered the first one and then he bought the second one. Um, just going to talk a minute with Lance and see how he likes it. He's been picking cotton for a few days now and just see the pluses of it. Well, we the reason we're trying to just find a you know a more efficient way to to get the cotton to the edge of the field, you right. know. And uh, Mr. Don, he came up with this thing. I've been talking with him for the last little over a year now, and they were using it more in Texas with the uh, stripper cotton. And uh, he was kind of concerned, you know, that it might not work as good with the with the spindle pick cotton. But uh, he finally agreed to send me one on out here and let's try it. And it's been a it's been a plus to my farming operation. It really has. I we uh. I saw right quick that we needed two because we had two pickers, but we run running two six row pickers and, and uh, two uh, modulating bowl buggies and it works out real well and, and, and good cotton. They can keep up with us and very little loss. Uh, Mr. Don has actually got some, just because it's, it was designed for a stripper, right. the receiving basket's not quite where he wanted it to be. They've actually come in with a, I hope next week, uh, what he what he's calling a bat wing to go on it and it'll open it up 18 more inches front and back and that that'll solve any problem there's not no really problems with it we just got to stop perfectly you know everything's got to be perfectly to make it you know receive it like it should but it works real well i've been very pleased with it and it's uh a little more cost effective than some of the other some of the other ways of yeah that's right yeah. that's right and that's that's what we was after trying to Trying to cut down on input costs, you know, and it, it just, man, cheapest cotton is, we got to do it cheap as we can. And the other way just didn't seem to be working with me. So you know? in your operation today, you're, what do you think your yield is that you're picking out here? Right? Yeah, it's probably between 13, 1400 pounds. I mean, I believe it's, it's picking that, maybe a little better. I, it's, it's good cotton. And it looks like by the video that we've taken, you did y'all got plenty of time. Yeah. Two pickers. They do. Two modulated except, for when, except for when the camera gets in the way. When the camera gets in the way, they delay <laughs> that, that's, right, that's the only reason. That's right. And they have. They've been able to keep up real well. Like, right. The boys have fell right in there and, and run it and not had any problems. I mean, you know, yeah. we've had a hose or two come, you know, a leak or two, but that's to be expected with something new. Other than that, we've had no problems. We've right. been running it over two weeks, both of them over two weeks over now. Over two weeks. Yep. Yeah, great. And uh, we picked over a thousand acres of cotton now, and we still like about a thousand, but. It, everything seems to be going good with it. I'm very pleased with it. The operator's able to pick up on it pretty quick? I mean, first day. On first, first day, day I, right. we hadn't had any problem with it. I mean, you know, right. it, it kind of scares everybody to begin with when you look at it, you know, and see how it all operates, but they've not had any problem at all. Were you satisfied with the modules and how tight they're packed? Yeah, they sure are. They, they are. Uh, Did you Jenner uh, make any comments about anything? They've not had any problem. It worried me, you know, they might have a problem picking them up, you know, but they've had no trouble at all. And we don't, we don't try to, we, we started to try to line them all up perfectly and put them up against each other, but we didn't. We just put them close and they can back up and get the first one and right on back and get the second one. Had no problem with it at all. I mean, I, we've had, they hadn't complained about it at all at the gym. I mean, it, it is a very nice packed module, square pot how many, module. How many bales of cotton do you think you're getting? In, we started in off rides. making a real big module and it was 10 bales, 10 you bales, know, okay. and, but we backed off of it. We didn't know exactly how far to back off. We backed off some, went to a seven and a half, and now we're back up to about an eight, eight and a half, and that's kind of where we kind of where we want it. But if if you're almost through the field and you need to make a big one, I mean, you can go on and put some more in it and make a ten bale. It'll go in the truck, you know. Okay. But it just you can just kind of use it like you need to to get through with your fields. All right, great. All right, appreciate it. Sounds good. Thank you, Don. Yep.